Hello, and welcome to another video on the Oxy-1 sequencer. This time, we'll be taking a look at implementing true polyphony into your modular system. I'm going to use the help of the Oxy pipe here for easier modular integrations. So we don't have to deal with all the jacks on the back of the Oxy. We'll have it right in our system. And note with this video, I'm going to just show it with four voice polyphony. But no, with the Oxy, we could go all the way up to eight because we have the eight individual CV and gate outputs. Usually in modular, if you're going for multiple voice polyphony, each voice tends to not have its own individual envelope and you're stuck with just one gate or envelope for all your voices, giving it only a pseudo polyphony sort of sound. With the Oxy, we can get independent gates to trigger independent envelopes for each voice, giving us true polyphony. Now for the easiest implementation of this, I'm gonna use three different four channel modules. I'm going to use qubit core for the four oscillator voices, after later audio's carve for the four envelope generators, and after later audio cloaks or mutable instruments veils clone for the four VCAs. And this will give us the easiest patching for quick four voice polyphony. Now let's get this into my rack and let's get started. So for polyphony with the Oxy, the first thing we need to do is set up the Oxy settings and the pipe. So the pipe connects with this HDMI plug here and we just plug it into the module and that powers it up. So to start, I'm gonna start with sequencer two here, which is the polyphonic sequencer. And I'm gonna just change the scale to minor and we'll go to D sharp. So now we have the scale selected and all that, and now we need to send it out to the CV. So we press shift and the CV gate button here to bring us to the settings. And we want to set up sequencer two here for each CV and gate. So what we're going to do is select channel one here of the CV to go to our sequencer two. And then voice two is going to go to the second one and we need to change it to voice two three and change it to three and then four and change that to voice four and we're going to do the same thing with the gates here one two three and four and that's it we're all set up here and now all we have to do is patch it up now to start with the oscillator i'm going to be using qubit cord here and I have it in the teal cyan mode here, which has each oscillator independent being controlled by different volt per octave inputs. But it still follows the same tuning for all four oscillators. So I'm going to plug one into the first one here, which is the volt per octave input. I'm going to plug two into the lead input, which is our second oscillator input. I'm going to patch the three into the voicing input for our third oscillator and four into the quality input for our fourth oscillator. So now when we play the notes, it'll be sending it to one of those four. And now we need the independent gates for our envelopes. And we're going to use carve here as our envelope generator, which is an ASR envelope generator. I'm going to plug gate one into input one gate two into input two, gate three into input three, and gate four into input four. So now we see when we're playing, it's firing all the different envelope generators. So now we're gonna route the audio of each oscillator into cloaks here, which is mutable instruments veils. We're gonna go into the input for one, two, three, and four. And I'm going to put the fourth output, which is a mix of all our signals, into Aurora here for some reverb. Let's turn those down for right now until we have our envelopes. Now I'm going to just take each output from Carve and plug that into the CV input on Cloaks. Now let's turn these volumes back up so we could hear them with the envelopes. 
and we have our four voice polyphonic synth. And now that we have this all patched up, we could play up to four note chords. Now let's record something. And that is polyphony with the Oxy-1 sequencer, the pipe, and some modules. If you like this video and you want to see more like this, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.